Yeah. Who was uh, the collector? Who collected them? Uh, my son. He just got bored of them, or? Yeah. Let's keep going and see what else there is. Holy shit, oh my god. Good morning, everybody. It is 9 a.m. and I am about to drive over to Naperville, Illinois. I had messaged a lady on OfferUp who was selling a bar cart, and I asked her, this is an odd question, but do you have any Pokemon cards or video games lying around that you would consider selling? At first she said no, but then she remembered that her son does have a collection and he was looking to get rid of it. I asked her if she can send me any pictures of the collection through text message and she politely declined and said that she does not give her phone number out to strangers. Although she did not send me any pictures of the collection, she did say there's about 800 cards and there's some extra stuff as well. Her son is only asking $40, so for $40, I'm gonna take the gamble, I'm gonna drive over there. Naperville is a two hour round trip for me, so this will be a journey. Wish me luck. Hopefully I am not wasting my time and I am about to go meet this lady up in a Jewel Osco parking lot. Hi, are you Lori? Yes. Nice to meet you. I'm Chris. I threw the shirt in there too. I don't know if it works or not. Okay. Is it old enough or... Is this everything? Yeah. Did, did you say there was like... So there's, uh, there's another book in there. Okay. There's some marbles in there. Um, you said like 800 cards total? Yeah. <laughs> Who was uh, the collector? Who collected them? Uh, my son. He's not doing anything with them now, so. He just got bored of them, or? Yeah, the marbles are in that little zip lock in here. Cool. Let me pay you. There you Great. go. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Thanks Thank again. You. All right, so I just got home. I completely dropped the bag coming up the stairs. So as you can see, it is all torn up, but everything inside is good. I paid $40 for everything inside this bag. When I was buying the collection, I noticed that she had a passenger in her car and I assume it was her son. He seemed to be about 18 years old. So hopefully the collection that she sold me was his collection because usually the older the kid, the more chance that there's older cards inside their collections. I am super excited to start looking through this collection, so let's see what I got for $40. So I have not looked at any of the cards inside this bag yet because I want it to be a surprise. I think it is super fun to blind buy Pokemon card collections, especially when you can get them for so cheap, like me paying $40 for this. I wouldn't recommend blind buying anything over $100 or $200 because at that point it is a lot of money to risk, but when it's a small amount like this, I really don't mind it. I'm gonna start with the extra stuff that she had put in the bag. She said that she did put the shirt in here, even though I said I didn't want it. Yeah, this is a, this is a kid's shirt, so. And then there's some books in here as well. Oh, this one had a Pikachu pen, but that wasn't included, I guess. Wow. So there's two binders. Uh, I saw this little black one when I flipped it open in the parking lot, just to make sure that these were actually Pokemon cards I was buying. So I saw this black one. I also saw this bag of cards right here. And then she said there was marbles. These are just old Wizard of the Coast marbles from the 90s and there's a big binder right here. So 800 cards total. 
and I hope we find something in here that was worth the two hour round trip. I'm gonna start with this Ziploc bag right here. I noticed that there is some Japanese cards in here as well. You never really know with these kind of collections as well because I have bought in super cheap collections off various social media sites and there ended up being really great stuff inside. So it is super cool searching through here because you really don't know what you're going to find. There's a Charizard right there, that's cool. A lot of Pokey Trivia cards too. Oh, this is a Ancient Mew card. So maybe there's an Ancient Mew in here. That'd be really nice. This is all beat up. There's a card loose. That's a shadowless Machop. That's cool. That's a newer card. 2011. So yeah, nothing too spectacular so far, except for this Shadowless Machop. That's pretty cool. So I'm probably gonna keep this black book until the end because this probably has all the good cards in it, hopefully. But I'm gonna search inside these pockets if there's anything. Nothing there. This is the two marbles she was talking about. We got a Gengar and Seeking. So I'm gonna go through this binder first and see what we got. I have been seeing a lot of older cards, so that is a good sign. There is a lot of Wizards of the Coast cards, but there's also a lot of EX cards as well. And I've seen that too, so that also might be a good sign. We have a first edition Oddish right here. First edition Ekans. A lot of EX cards. There is a ton of energies in here, and that kind of sucks. It seems like he organized them by type, and that's what I used to do as a kid, so that's pretty cool to see that. There's another first edition right on. That's an E-Series card, that's nice. 
And then this is a World Championships card. Yeah, there's two of them. Yeah, E-Series card. Those are always really cool to see. A lot of EX cards. So, I can assume that that 18-year-old, this is probably his collection of cards. There's some more World Championship cards. There's nothing really jumping out at me. But I do remember a lot of these cards from growing up. Oh, we got some more cards. Another first edition. Brock Santru over here. Yeah, so there's a lot of first editions. Oh, first edition Dark Flareon, that's nice. Dark Muck, Dark Charmeleon, Dark War Turtle. First edition Dratini. We got the Coffin right here, Shadowless. That's super cool. And then that Dark Flareon, first edition. So far, really nothing too crazy. So I just hope that it's all in this black book right here because the two hour round trip, it wasn't that bad, but man, does that suck. First edition Persian. Oh, that's nice, Espeon. Cool. Non hollow magneton, Jigglypuff promo, another first edition, Blaine's Taurus. Yeah, there's really nothing crazy in here. And there is a lot of energies and trainers. That's um, Legendary Collections. Charmeleon. That's cool. And then the non hollow Gengar over here. First edition, Misty Staryu. Lieutenant Surge Pikachu. Yeah, there really wasn't, yeah, there really wasn't much in this binder. A lot of old cards though, that's really cool. And then we got these more card lists and rule books. Hopefully there's something good in here. I know when I was younger, I would always have a bigger binder that had all my bulk. And then I'd have a little thin, small binder that had all my good cards. So hopefully this is where he kept all of his good cards. There is uh, some reverse hollows. I'm gonna try to make sure that there is no glare for you guys when I'm going through here. Okay, there is a vintage EX card off the bat. I love vintage EX cards. There's also the holographic leaf energy. Oh, whoa. That is a great way to start. There is a crease right here. You guys can see that. 
still super cool nonetheless. Here is the hollow leaf energy as well. I remember collecting these as a kid. These were super cool. And I'm pretty sure that these are worth some money too. Super awesome to see. Right off the bat, vintage EX card. Let's see what else is in here. There is a Dark Celebi Hollow. That's cool. Put that to the side. What? Do you guys see this? Is that a miscut card? This is a base set to Chansey. I have never seen a Wizard of the Coast miscut card. Are you... That has to be rare. There's a little uh, nick on the corner right here, but that is extremely cool. I have never seen something like this. It's, it's real too, so that is awesome. I have never... Wizard of the Coast usually doesn't make too many errors, so when there is one, it is super cool to see. I have never seen something like this in person. Let's see what else is in here. We got a Koga's Ditto right here. That's cool. Another hollow. That's awesome. There's a light Flareon. I'm pretty sure this card's worth a little bit of money. That's in really good condition. So far, so good. This has been really awesome to see. I think I've made my $40 back already, but I, it's just awesome that there's actually something good in here. So let's keep going and see what else there is. Holy shit, oh my God, what? The, what? More vintage EXs, these are E-Series EX cards. Oh my, oh my God. What? And we got the Lieutenant Surge's Magneton and the Hollow Electrode. Dude, you have to be kidding. We got the Electabuzz. We got Magcargo. I never had uh, E-Series EX cards growing up, so these are really cool to me. We got Muck. Lieutenant Surge's Magneton. Dude, this is insane. Lieutenant Surge's Pikachu. And then here's the Hollow Electro. These are super cool cards. This, so far so good. This has been Amazing. I hope that there is even better cards in here. Man, all those vintage EXs.
At the end of this video too, I'm gonna recap all of the cards I got as well. I have some sleeves I'm gonna put these cards in. Also, all of these cards are gonna be for sale too. So the link is gonna be in my description, my eBay. That's where I usually sell cards at. And if you see any cards that you do like, just feel free to leave a comment or send me a message and maybe we could work out a price that way, so. All in all, it's been a good collection so far. I paid $40 for it and I definitely made my money back now, so that is crazy. Oh, holy shit, no. Dude, oh, dude, there's fucking gold stars. Nah, there is gold star cards in here. No way. No way. Are you kidding me? What the? F what? Dude, what? <laughs> Oh my god, there's a Reggie Rock and a Reiku. Dude, I am shaking right now. This. No. Absolutely not. Are you kidding me? Dude. I gotta collect my thoughts. Dude, there's no way. The kid had gold star cards in his collection. Oh, there's a huge crease in this one. Oh my god. Is this real life? I have never found a gold star card in a collection before. It is, that has a big crease in it, but that is still cool. This one is actually sleet. Oh yeah, this is in way better condition. Oh yeah, that is nice. Dude, these cards are crazy expensive. I remember when I was a kid, I pulled a Gold Star Mewtwo out of a Holland Phantoms pack and I felt it was so crazy just to see these. Oh my God. I grabbed some top loaders. I am out of breath. This is insane. Oh my god. This has never happened before. I have gotten some older holographic cards that were super nice in collections before, but to get gold star cards, it is insane even even the ex cards that i was getting in the beginning i thought that was insane but to have these i am this collection is insane i i hope there's more crazy stuff in here oh my god All right, so I just got done sleeving all these cards. And at the end of the video, I will have a recap of all of the really nice cards that were in this collection, including these two gold star cards. So don't worry about that. I just hope that there's even more stuff in here. So I'm excited just to keep looking. Another first edition, and then right here we have a Shadowless. Take that out. All right, we're getting close to the end. This may be the end. Another first edition.
There is a ton of first edition cards in this collection. All right, that is the end of that binder. Oh my God. All right, so just for a quick recap, I'm gonna show you guys all the cards that I got. There is still more first editions in that binder. So I still have to count those in, but man, the thrill of searching through this collection was like none other. I seriously cannot believe the cards that we found. It is seriously like a one in a million chance for that to happen. So I am, it's just ecstatic. There is a lot of hollows. There was this Chansey miscut card. So if you guys have any more information on this, I'll try to find some more information and how much they sell for us because I have no idea. Uh, I think it would sell for a premium because it doesn't happen quite often, but it does have that little corner that's broke. Still cool. Got the light Flareon, Electabuzz EX, got the Muck EX. These cards are just so cool. Lieutenant Surge's Magneton, got the Mag Cargo EX, it's just a Charmeleon, and then we got a Shadowless Machop, Shadowless Coughing, and Shadowless Rattata. All right, so that's pretty much gonna do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe because I have a ton of other videos on my channel that are similar to this one. I go around, buy collections, and I pretty much just uncover nostalgia. If you would like to purchase any of the cards that you did see in today's video as well, make sure you go to the description because I'm going to put my eBay store information down there as well as my Discord information in the description as well. That's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Look what we got.